Hey, what's up, guys? I uh, just wanted to make a video um, just kind of talking about a few symptoms that I experience, and it's happening right now. Um, but just I wanted to make this video, and I may make a, make a few more videos talking about the symptoms I experience from post-concussion uh, syndrome, from the symptoms that I got from my concussions, uh, especially my last concussion over a year and a half, or about a year and a half ago. And uh, so the first the symptoms I want to talk about right now are sound sensitivity and just different things that are not normal in terms of sounds. Um, right now, me talking, my voice sounds so loud and it, I don't even want to talk right now because it's just really loud and yeah that's one thing that happens um, also besides me beginning me getting sensitive to my own voice I get sensitive to everything around me and it can happen in different ways one way it can happen is just that everything sounds like the volume is louder, like everything is just way louder. And it's very bothering or bothersome. Um, but also like sounds that I don't expect, it can like shake and excite my brain and make me flinch. Um, that's one thing that can happen. And another thing is like that same thing, like sounds that I don't expect or even like people talking or yeah, just sounds in general, they can, they like, <coughs> they like shake, they can like shake my brain and I can feel my brain being activated in like the back by these sounds and it can happen with things besides sounds, but it's like the sounds are coming in and I can feel it shake and activate my brain. And um, that's another thing that happens with sounds. Another thing is it can feel kind of similar to that, but it can feel like sounds are coming in and stabbing and ripping and gripping and pulling apart my brain. And it makes me so, like, it makes me so angry because it just feels like somebody is just, just like torturing me with sounds. And it's so bad. Um, and all these, all these symptoms kind of, it depends on what's going on with my digestion and the amount of, <clears throat> uh, the amount of inflammation that's kind of going on or what type of inflammation it's it it's really complicated <clears throat> um, yeah and another thing like I can feel with sounds like sometimes it feels like I can I can um, feel like my ear my inner ear like tremble with sounds like it's being activated and it's like sensitive to sounds in that way and yeah it makes it really hard to communicate with people or even be around people at all <laughs> like that set of symptoms is one of the most troubling symptoms just because it it's so hard to be around anything when everything around you is so loud and it's stabbing your brain and hurting you like it's it's not good um, and it's such like a 
Like, you wouldn't even think that that could happen, like, normally, like, before a concussion or before my concussions. Like, you wouldn't think that sounds would could be such a problem, but there's, it's so, it gets so bad. And, like, yet, if you have to talk, like, talking right now, it's so loud. And, uh, like, it, like, I wish people could just... I wish I could communicate with people just with my mind and my thoughts. It'd be so much easier. Like, like part of the reason why it's hard to communicate with people too, or like I've already been saying, is it's just so physically it hurts and it is so uncomfortable and it's too much to talk and listen and then my brain can't shut off different sounds so I can't focus on something like if I hear a sound over here and I'm have certain if my inflammation is high then I just it my brain can't handle it and it's too loud and I have to wear earplugs if people are around if I'm feeling worse when I'm feeling okay when my infl when the inflammation from my gut isn't as active it's like back to normal nothing sounds loud my brain can um my brain can just shut things off and it doesn't seem as loud and i can focus on one thing um and another thing that i just got reminded of is um this is, probably has to do with my nervous system well this has to have, does have to do with my nervous system too but like sounds can be like super scary to me like it can like if I hear a sound outside sometimes it's like I'm paranoid of that sound or like my nervous system just gets super it's super overactive to everything and sounds are one of those things and so yeah I just want to talk about those symptoms I might do a couple of videos talking about the specific sets of symptoms that I experience um, just to express it and kind of make it known, um, but also to just get a video out there so people, if they're going through the same thing, they can realize that they're not crazy and like other people are going through similar crap too. So yeah, just want to make this video. Peace.